We're supposed to leave at 6.30 today because Russ has a department meeting or something. It's like half an hour earlier. So I'm not up any earlier because it's 5.45. I don't need to be up any early. There you go, JJ. I'm not even going to make you late. Anyways, there's no relaxing. No relax time for me. No problem. But see if Russ gets up before six. Who knows? Right, right now, I gotta pay. I got brides in Atlanta. Just took the lead in the family. Credit cards in the scammers. Getting no licks in the van. Legacy, family. Fancy, look like a panda. Going out like a Montana. Honey killers on their hands. Legacy, family. Fancy, panda. Pockets full, Danny. Selling ball, candy. I sat down for like two minutes. Five minutes, probably. I don't know. But look at it. It's sunny out. <coughs> JJ, shut up. What are you barking at? There ain't nobody here. Just you and me. Dang. Um, Norm is well sick. Well, he says he, he says he should come over. But who knows? I don't know if he will come over. Like, he has to work later? This afternoon or something? And I'm like, okay, well, you should. Okay, you can. I asked what time, because I have an appointment, you know. And, uh, and he's like, whatever, this, I don't know, between 10 and 11 or something. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sounds good. And he's like, could show some enthusiasm. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll have a parade for you. He's like, that's better. I'm like, there's no parade. I'm gonna have a parade. Why would I have a parade for you? Oh, the sun is in my eyeballs. Okay. Um, so that panda head I found at Walmart when I was there. It was only ten dollars, but I did not purchase it because um I don't I don't really need the panda head. And, uh, I don't want to, like, spend money on something I don't really need, you know. I also, there were, I was going to purchase movies, but, again, don't need movies. Because there's Netflix and On Demand and all that kind of stuff. Oh, oh. Anyways, um... Yesterday was my nephew's 12th birthday. This is last year of being a preteen. That's not the remote I need. Airplanes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so he's going to be a teenager next year, which is crazy it's not crazy it just makes me feel old of course then he went to red robin it looks like yesterday his dad posted a picture of that and uh yeah i'm gonna do it all right i have putting the music on and i'm gonna get to cleaning i think i'll clean the toilet yeah, usually, um, according to my dad, who is, again, almost 78 years old, cleaning the bathroom is the man's job, and mowing the lawn is the man's job. Nope. Sorry, Dad, but this is 2018, not 1950s. Uh, while I don't like cleaning the toilet because... Russ is the one who's the messiest in there. If it needs to be done, I'll still do it. Russ does the dishes, which is technically, according to Dad, or 
would be the women's job. Nope. Nope. No. No. Get with the times, Dad. Guess at a certain age, you just don't care anymore about the changes, you know, that happen in, in the world. Um, yeah. That's just, uh, you know. Daniel made that. My younger brother, Daniel, made that. It's basically just a bunch of stuff he found glued to a piece of glass in a frame that he also glued stuff on. But when the sun shines through it, it makes cool patterns sometimes on the walls and stuff. It's pretty. I like it. It goes there. Um, so that's about it. I'm just going to get to clean in here and stop wasting time. <laughs> <sighs> I spent er, the last two hours cleaning. Uh, I think I deserve a break. Let me tell you a story. This is a hole in the wall. A hole in the wall. The theory is that I came home inebriated one time and I had to go pee. Well, our bedroom is upstairs while the bathroom is downstairs. So, there's this landing, but then you also have to go up two more steps. So what theory is that I came stumbling down these two steps and hit the wall. I remember, I'm thinking this is how it happened because I think I'm pretty sure I fell and I hit the wall. It sounds like something that would that I would do. Anyways, um, I hit the wall. Focus on me, thank you. And that happened. I'm pretty sure this is what ha how. I, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure that's how the hole ended up there because um, I remember the next day my shoulder hurt. But I didn't recognize, I didn't notice the hole till like a few days later. It's a pretty big hole. I mean, look, look up. It's a pretty, it's a pretty big size hole. And I just haven't patched it up yet. I mean, there's no mice or anything coming in and out of it. Um, it's probably some bugs, but that's life. Every place has bugs. Uh, so that's it for now. I gotta, I gotta eat. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm gonna go eat. Okay, I'll talk to you later. JJ is a little slow. I'll show you. Something with her eye. Look, at it. it's all swollen. Your eyeball. You okay? Your eye. We are. This. This. Three. Girl. Hey, good girl. Go figure out what's wrong with her eye. You see, she's been laying like that for a good 20 seconds. See? I didn't know what was going on. And there it is. The poops. That's right, these are leaves, but those are poops. JJ. Oh, I can't punish you, your eyeball is weird. Yeah, all right. This is a problem you have, having 
no thigh gap. And this time it's both sides. Look at there's one big one over here. And then the other one over here. Uh, you know, no thigh gap problems. All right, so I had to stop home. I really just wanted to use my own bathroom. That's why I stopped home. And I had to go back out and picking up Russ from his job. Okay. So I have talked with the main doctor person at the um, weight loss clinic and uh, everything was discussed. Disgust. All right, so we talked about everything and we have decided that even though, or because I am doing everything correctly as far as, as, far as diet and exercise go, it's not working for me. So um, we're gonna get some lab tests done. Um, I've gotta have a psyche val that's gonna happen in June it's about a six month process four to six months is what she said but I'm thinking six months and she looks at my notes she's like reading them like yeah you haven't had any problems and it's like you had a stroke and I'm like yeah obviously doctors do not read all chart notes that would take forever to read all chart notes prior to someone's visit. Anywho, um, yeah, I'm on my way to pick up Russ to go nowhere. Should come back home, I guess. I go pick up Russ, and that's it. It's like 4:30, 4:25, 4:30, something like that. And it's so it's been so nice today. It's currently 47 degrees. It's sunny. There's a, a there's wind which makes it suck, but not really suck. It's just chillier than I would like. But I still don't have to wear like a big old winter coat. Anywho, um, I'm gonna concentrate on driving. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. It's a good thing I left when I did. Hopefully, I'll get there on time. Okay, chee chee. Chee Chee, hungry. You hungry, Chee Chee? Were you able to eat it? Oh, yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on back, come on back. Sit. Stay. Stay. Good. Stay. Good. So, I gave a little pressure. Go ahead, eat your food. Yes, good girl. I gave a little pressure to, like, where the, what's hurting her on her face or whatever. She winced a little bit. Hopefully it's not, um... Hopefully it's not her teeth, because that's a bill we don't want. All right. I figured it out um, why my phone was sending emergency SOS whatever messages to some people. So I turned off that thing that uh, it was a setting that I had. It was apparently turned on. I don't know how, but anyways figured that out um I'm sitting in my car in my driving way my driveway uh just like you know sitting in my car of course and it's 650 well 645 so I'm gonna head to the gym I'm gonna be there early cuz well I can be it's not, I have nothing else going on at the moment so I figure what better way to start a workout than to get there early stretch 
Okay, getting a lot more gray hairs. Also, make a plan because I don't know what we're doing. So, um, that's it. I will talk to you later. I am home. My phone is dying, so I'm going to bed. Good night.